Hi everyone, uh, my name is Camille and I built a project around an e-shop. Um, so a little bit about me, I have a background in online marketing, so mostly search, analytics, um, social media. I'm passionate about data, uh, the clean kind, like clean organized databases and uh, user behavior. And I'm somewhat passionate about uh, online shopping, I find it more efficient. Um, and a bit about the project, uh, since I like these three things, I wanted to mix e-commerce, data, and user behavior. Uh, my end goal was to uh, produce a dynamic e-shop that displays products based on user behavior, like purchases, uh, visited products, favorited products, etc. So without further ado, I'm going to show you, uh, and thank Jared for um, designing the logo, by the way. Um, here's the little demo. Uh, so this is the eShop. Uh, all the products are courtesy of uh, Nice Things, uh, which is um, a Spanish clothing brand. Um, so you have all the functionalities of a basic eShop. Uh, you can see all the products here. You can browse by uh, categories. You can also view the details. You can change the colors. You can change the picture, etc. You can select your size. And then uh, when you log in, this is when it becomes a bit more interesting. So that's it. When you're uh, logged in, you can now add products to your cart or add products to your favorites. You can keep browsing, keep adding to favorites, keep adding products to your cart, etc. cetera. Um, if you go to your account, you can see all your favorites have been saved. You can remove them if you want. And then if you go to your cart, you can also see what you've added to your cart and remove some products, also process orders, and if you go back to your account, you can then see your orders, and it's great. There you go. <laughs> so, back to the presentation. Uh, everything has been built around the user behavior model. I wanted it to be very, very complete. Uh, so I wanted it to store the past orders, the favorite products, obviously, the current card, but also the visited products and the sizes and colors, which is the bit where I didn't have time to get. Um, this is the central model, which is, uh, it's fed by the products model, the user model. It fe feeds into the orders models, which then feeds back the selected size and selected colors to the user behavior. So that's really what is central in that project. I've had some challenges with um, authentication uh, and also the observables to send information from uh, a component to another. So if you see, for example, um, when the user is logged out, it's, um, my top component doesn't pick up that uh, it is logged out and I need to refresh the page for this to happen. Also had some difficulties with um, updating the, the card. And for further development, I would really like to, um, to implement some recommended product based on uh, the orders and the favorites, the type of project, the, the, type of, the types of products um, that uh, the user have bought. Uh, I'd like to store the visited product to base recommendations on that and uh, and yeah, and recommend products also based on the product profitability, the availability, the weather and whatever is interesting to the business. And uh, that's about it, that's it. Woo!